You know when you have something that you really should work on, but you don't because it's kind of a pain? Well, today, that's this rut and a few other bumpy areas of my lawn. Now, if you're dealing with similar issues in your lawn and want some tips on how to make a bumpy lawn smooth, keep watching. The rut we're gonna be filling today is the result of a tree that died and had to be removed. Now, if we take a look at it, for the most part, we can see the grass has grown in fairly well, but there's still a couple of low areas that are gonna need a little bit of love to look their absolute best. Things we're gonna need to pull this off. Filling material. Options for this include topsoil, compost, or sand. Today, we're gonna to be using a combination of sand and compost for three reasons. First, a buddy of mine had some left over from a recent leveling project that he was working on, so I got it for free. Second, sand and compost make for a great leveling mix since the compost helps improve the quality of the soil and the sand does a great job of adding structure. And the third reason, I already told you, got it for free. Next, you're gonna want some basic tools. A shovel and a standard rake can work in a pinch, but for the best possible result, you're gonna to wanna to invest in one of these bad boys. This is a leveling rake, and it makes it much easier to smooth the leveling mix out to achieve a great result. Now, we'll start by filling our low spot with a bit of sand and compost and roughly even it out. You can see here how I'm using the leveling rake to work the sand and compost into the low spot as much as possible. Now, here's a quick tip that'll help you minimize the chances of having to do this again in the future. Once the rut is about halfway full, compact it down to help settle it in place. As you can see here, I'm just using my body weight and shoes to pull this off. Now we add a bit more sand and compost and work it in and then compress again. We keep doing this, fill, level, compress. We keep repeating these steps over and over until the rut is completely filled and smoothed over. When you're done, your goal should be to have the filled in area match the grade of the existing lawn as much as possible. This is gonna increase the likelihood that once the grass grows through, it's all gonna blend in really nicely. Now this rut is one of the more extreme cases of what you'll probably have to be dealing with in your lawn. But now what about when you just have an area that's just slightly bumpy, but you still wanna make it golf course lawn smooth? Let's see how we take care of that. The area of this lawn has some serious washboarding, largely due to the way that the lawn's been mowed over time. The way we fix it is using a similar process. We'll start by applying some sand and compost. We'll use a leveling rig to work it in. And as we go along through this process, we're gonna lightly compress to help it stay in place. We keep rinsing and repeating this process until we build up a layer of about a quarter to half an inch of sand to fill in all those low areas. Now that we've got both sections of our lawn taken care of, the next step is to apply a bit of fertilizer to help speed up recovery. The fertilizer we're using today is called Humic Max from Lebanon Turf. It's super easy to apply, and because it's a quick release fertilizer, you're gonna see results within just one week. With our fertilizer applied, our next step is to water it in to activate it. If you have irrigation, you can definitely use that, but a garden hose with a bit of patience can work just as well. All that's left is to wait for the grass to grow through so you can start enjoying your now smooth lawn. If you like this video and want to see how leveling can be done on a much bigger scale, I put together a video here that I think you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.